Glory to his holy name. 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 Glory to his holy name forever. Glory to your holy name forever. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Hey, 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 Shebri Kuramando lo broso tolo Kuramanda la basho. Praise your holy name. Praise your holy name. These are the days of glory. 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 Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord is in this place this morning. God is at work in this place. And I just need some people that are hungry enough to to press into what God has prepared for you. And you will leave this place with deposits, with impartations, with measures of the anointing, measures of the Spirit of God that will redefine your life. It's a season of God redefining things in your life. It's a season of God doing something significant in your life. So I want you to stay hungry, stay connected, stay in the flow. just flow with how the service go God wants the service to go then we'll teach a little bit and minister and do whatever he wants I'm going to invite you to just take your seats remain connected special welcome Pastor Amos we welcome you sir welcome from uh, DRC now living in Cape Town I hear Welcome, it's an honor to have you, sir. May God minister to you and do a good work in your life. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, we're going to get into teaching just now, but let me just minister quickly. It says, follow after charity. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts. So there's got to be a desire for the supernatural. There's got to be a desire for the flow of the glory of God. There's got to be a desire for the river of God to flow into your life. 
Follow after charity. Love is the key to walking in the supernatural. Love is the key to walking in the supernatural. So, follow after charity, love, and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy. In other words, the, the entry level, the place that we begin at is the love place. Then we get into the place of desiring spirituals, desiring the gifts, the workings of the Spirit of God. And then we get into the place of speaking on behalf of God, prophecy, speaking the mind, the will of God for edification, exhortation, and comfort. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understands him, but how be it in the spirit he speaks mysteries. So when I begin to speak in tongues, the Bible says, in the spirit I am speaking mysteries. Divine mysterions, mysteries, divine secrets. So when I'm speaking in tongues, I'm speaking mysteries, divine secrets. But he that prophesies speaks unto men for edification, exhortation, and comfort. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies himself, but he that prophesied edifieth the church. I would, oh, glory, I would that you all speak with tongues, but rather that you prophesied, for greater is he that prophesies than he that speaks in, an, in a tongue, or speaks with tongues, except he interpret that the church may receive edifying. I would that you all speak with tongues, with the result of you prophesying. I, we, I would that you all speak with tongues. With the result of you stepping into the spirit of God. Stepping into the realm of the spirit. With the result of you being in the spirit. So when I begin to speak with other tongues. I go into the spirit. It's no longer the flesh. I'm going into the spirit. I'm going into the spirit. I'm going into the spirit. Because it's in the spirit where things are made. It's in the spirit where things are created. It's in the spirit where things are birthed. It's in the spirit that we tap into the supernatural. Hallelujah. And then verse 13, it says, Wherefore let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. When I speak in an unknown tongue, my spirit is praying. The Amplified Version says, My spirit by the Holy Spirit in me prays. My spirit by the Holy Spirit in me prays. My spirit by the Holy Spirit in me prays. So, if I want to do something with the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, I must get into the Spirit and begin to speak with tongues. And when I begin to speak in other tongues... I am in the Spirit. I am doing that by the Holy Spirit. And He gives me the utterance. He gives me the ability to step into a supernatural flow. What is it then? Well, verse 13 again, it says, Wherefore let he that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. I want you to lift up your right hand right now and say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I thank you I thank for the gift of speaking with tongues. I pray that I may interpret when I pray in the spirit in Jesus name I believe I receive right now in Jesus name praise God if you believe that from now on as you begin to pray and you pray things that God wants you to know and understand God will give you the interpretation God will give you the understanding God will give you what it means what he wants you to know there's been an increase in the flow of the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit in the church. People are beginning to see visions. People are beginning to see things of the Spirit. I'm getting a lot of inboxes, people asking me, what does this mean? I saw this, what does this mean? I may not always be able to interpret everything. And if I do interpret everything for you, I'm going to make you a baby. And I don't want babies in the church. I want you to grow up in spiritual things. Amen. So when God shows you something, when you see visions, when you see revelations, unless it's really, really really something that that is that that will need my help or somebody else's help then you go to somebody else but the first place that you go is you go to God is you go to God is you go to God Amen. hallelujah he knows why he's showing you what he's showing you and he knows what it means and he knows the times and the seasons for it hallelujah verse 15 because of everything that we have said what shall we do what is it then I will pray in the, with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing in, with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. 
Now, what does this mean? Because he's writing spiritual things, spiritual things are often a bit difficult to put into words that the human mind can understand. But he was endeavoring to help us to understand a dimension of the Spirit of God, a dimension of the glory of God that is vital for you to step into your next level. He is saying here, whenever God is about to do something in your life, it is always done. We preach this on the Friday evening. Things begin in the realm of the Spirit and then they manifest in the realm of the natural. Things begin in the realm of the intangible and they move over into the realm of the tangible. So what he what he is saying here is because we now understand what he has been explaining all the way from the beginning, he's he is now saying, What shall I do then? I will pray with the spirit, and then I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. This is how it's, this has always worked in my life. Whenever God is about to do something new in my life, God is about to bring something new in my life, God is about to bring a, a shift or a change, or whether God is about to take my life to a whole new level, before it can happen, he places it in my spirit my spirit by the holy ghost in me if you go to the earlier chapters i think chapter 4 first corinthians that which i has not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for them that love him but god has given unto, but god has revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things yea the deep things of god for what man knows the things of god save the spirit of god and what so and who knows the things of man save the spirit of man which is in him and we have received the spirit which is of god God, that we may know the things that are freely given unto us of God, which things also we speak, not with words which man's wisdom teacheth, but that which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. With the, so when you step into this dimension, when you step into the, the realm of the Spirit, he begins to show you things in the Spirit. Now my Spirit has the ability to see, to taste, to touch, to smell in the same way that my physical body can see, touch, taste, smell. Now when I go over into the realm of the spirit, I begin to see those things that are there. I begin to see those things that are prepared. I begin to see those things that have been put in place. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. And he has revealed those things unto me so that I may know the things that are freely given to me of God. So when I step over into the realm of the spirit and I see those things now for those things that are in the realm of god to come over to the realm of man we must pray them Amen. glory to god for those things to move over out of the realm of the spirit into the realm of man we must pray them Amen. so that's why he says in, in corinthians where we've just read chapter 14 what is it then? I will pray with the Spirit and I'll pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit and I'll sing with the understanding also. This is what he's saying. I go over into the realm of God. I see the house. I pray it in the Spirit. And I must come back to this realm and I must pray it in the natural. I go over into the realm of the Spirit and I see the kind of marriage God wants me to have. I pray it in the Spirit. But it will not manifest over here until I, what I have prayed in the Spirit, I pray it over here. So when I saw prevailing word ministries in the Spirit, praying in the Holy Ghost, in other tongues, I had to come into this dimension <clears throat> and begin to declare in this dimension what I saw in that dimension. Church, do you understand this? Do you understand this? I want us to take five minutes. We're going to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you don't speak with other tongues and you'd like God to fill you with the Holy Spirit and receive the gift of speaking with other tongues, you need to step out of your seat, come down to the front here. There are people that will come and pray for you. But I want for the next five minutes, we're going to pray in the Spirit. You're going to right now, you're going to make a conscious decision. Lord, I'm going into the Spirit. I'm going into the... That's how easy it is. 
that's how easy it is and this is a good place to keep your your notebook handy your pen handy because god is going to begin to show some people some things that are yet to come some things that are prepared for those that love him so for the next five minutes i want everybody begin to pray in other tongues begin to speak with other tongues if you don't speak in tongues if you need to be born again if you need to be filled with the holy spirit and receive the gift of speaking in other tongues if you struggle speaking with other tongues come down to the front here we will help you everybody pray in the holy Holy Ghost. Cameramen pray in the Holy Ghost. Soundmen pray in the Holy Ghost. Tabernacle of David. Everybody pray in the Holy Ghost. Hosts, ashes. Everybody's praying in other tongues. Lebra kushanda baraka taya la baso kuriyanda la la bakai. Endo lo broso tolo bura baba babu shabakai. Hold it. Just keep praying, just keep praying. I just need them to get ministered to. Just minister to these people that need to speak with other tongues. Explain to them, lay hands on them, get them filled with the Holy Spirit. Everybody pray in tongues. Come on. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. I want everybody praying in tongues. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Praying in the Holy Spirit. If you are not up here receiving the infilling of the Holy Spirit, you are in the congregation and you are praying in tongues. Everybody's praying in tongues. You may need to check if they are born again. If they are born again, get them filled. Rebasha.
Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Ribala shata manga randa laba soto raba shata ya laba kan. That's a good flow, church. That's a good flow. That's a good flow. That's a good flow. Boldly, strong. Step into the river of God. Step into the glory. Hiramam riba soto riata ya laba shakata ya. Koramanda laba sata ya laba shakata ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mosha, Mosha, Mosha. Leno Mosa, Mosha Kota. Hare mere 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 busha barataya. Mare mende bere kera bela burra basha kadiata. Mambre mendo burra baza barra kusha batai. Oh, let the river flow. 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 There is a river. Riba busha barra kataya lamanda. Oh, there is a river. Shimbre be kurmanga landura basha barra bahata. Waramando lo burra basha barra kataya labaka sabahata. Yeah, 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 yeah. Burra lindo burra babu shabra kata bahati. Ribra kurmando burra baze brekita la mambre bishabra kata. It's a new season. It's a new season for you. It's a new season of glory. The zimile murra banenda. Mama reminda le mir reminda le burra babu zuru busha kariata. He's flowing, he's flowing, he's flowing, he's flowing. Shemahaya, Shemahaya Maya Lani, hey, yeah, 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 got that, got joy, adi, adi, ebu shibidi. Wari, adi, na, ya, na, ya, na, ya, bu, shaman, gadi, adi, adi, asuka, ba, shibidi. Oh, le sombre, oh, le sombre, oh, le sombre, pata, oh, le sombre, pata, ya, kata, oh, le sombre, pata, ya, la, cruz, de, baya. Oh, ye sombre pataya la mbre mindo la broso kura bahata. Oh, ye sombre pataya la kura. Oh, ye, 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 ya basha. Oh, ye mambre be sota la basha bakata. Oh, greater glory, 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 greater glory. Greater glory, greater glory. Melo no musum rimande la bruste curiata. Rimam rimingo lo murmanto lo murraba sata ya la bacata. Hiramanda ya la caraga la barraba shata ya la carabahata. Wangananga nanga taya chakada wajagi de gusam riminda. Nimbra manda ya chua da zede ya chukura basha taya. Wabra nanga nange zebrudura bazubra manjdi babri gede sumbri. Wara ala nangarin zumbri minstumbrangi de eta. Nimbra man sumbri bishubra kura bazubri kita ya hata. Vina hala hara hala hiri hila marra hata Wala hara hili hiri hili miri hili murra hala hara hidi Ura hala hara hala hiri hili hiri hili hiri vila murra vila marra di Ula marra hala hara hala hiri hili izu murra bidi yabirori bila yarubu zumuri mini means day Hara hata yala kara gele ninge lede kera gele ninge zeda vishi kodi hata Wara hata haya hana hanga ya ni hila na manje dea sobre Ura mange nanga nango njenge njonge njenge njoze ba Uma manga nanga nenge nengo nje mengo ndange sombre nge de Eno humi hina nana manga nenge njonge mendo seba Wanga nanga nanga nenge njonge 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 njomelo nombre besto Mane hina hana unga menga nengo njengo nje sombre hede Era mananga nanga nanga nenge nengo rehote Oh Era lishto morba hati Ure histo rubashto kuriata 
Irela mara mantele burba buzubera ba shubiri aba kuri akidi. Wara bulo manzuma na manju bidi aba rekola bara bezdo bara bo shubiri akidi akidi. Wara galere burba buzubera bo shubiri aba buzubera bo shubiri akidi. Wara galamuru mina manzuma na manju bidi aba buzubera bo shubiri akono membrengidi. Irelo toria to koloche koloto koche koloto koche koloto koche kalahare. Eji ano ndo biso mini amun chonchombre. Wari achi kari adage ti akori amun sume mi mjuno membre. Wara mene galamuru Chia kadiata dia chocho mene min somri mim jdeba wari aman somi Maria ham somi Maria ham somi Maria ham somi na hata Maria ham somi na hata ya Maria ham somi na hata ya Maria ham somi nem bringen dola hati kere sombre kere sombre kere sombre kere sombre kere sombre mandolo brote kere sombre mandolo brote Coromando lo bros do borco talamande, que rabasso bragas de garia ha ha ha. Wanjole hete, wanjole hete, wanjole hete yalada, wanjole hete yalada, wanjole hete yakose, wanjole hete lavrede, wanjole hete lambrende, wanjole hete manonge, manjole brete kosede. Oh, receive a fresh. A fresh, fresh anointing upon your life. Receive a fresh anointing upon your life. Let God anoint you afresh. Receive a fresh tongue, a fresh... Step into another dimension of praying in the Holy Ghost. A new dimension you've never entered into. There's dimensions, there's places, there's places. Step into something new. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pela umre men shtakataya. Yay. Mura mandolo broso torianda. Oh yeah, 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 Glory flows, glory flows, glory flows, glory flows. Semula hata, semula hata yala, semula hata yala bariketa ya. Rimbra mantole mimbre beso brakata. Glory flows, glory flows, glory flows, glory flows. Yeah, come on, stir up something, stir up something. Yeah, pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Shekur vandala buzo braba bubu shubari Come on, push that thing, let's push that thing. Kurra ba shata ya laman. Hey, 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 hey. Shekur vandala laba shata ya la laba kai. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey. Kurra manda ya ba shata ya laba soto.
What happened? What happened? Keep that flow. 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 Instructions, ashes. Um, can I have minister? Can we empty the, the bowls? Both of them. Empty them quickly. Move fast. Move fast. Move fast. Thank you. Just put them on both sides here. I need every person who's here, and you are in debt. I want you to ask for an envelope right now. If you are in debt, you're owing money to someone, somewhere. Ask for an envelope. Stay in the spirit. Stay in the spirit. Here's the instruction. I want you to move quickly. If you have an envelope, I want you to write these scriptures. Romans 13. Write them on the envelope and also keep them somewhere in your notebook or on your pad or wherever. Romans chapter 13 verse 8. The Bible says, Owe no man anything but to love one another. The Amplified says, Stay out of debt. You're going to make a covenant right now. going to make a covenant with the Lord this amount, write the amount on the envelope as well, the amount that you're owing, even if it is a cumulative amount, you owe this company that amount, you owe this amount to so and so, the total amount if you want to table it specifically this company, this amount this company, that amount, or it's just one big amount that you're just going to put there just write it down instructions and follow them carefully and follow them there's a prophetic flow in my life right now 
Bible says, and he brought, them, and by a prophet he brought them out, and by a prophet they were preserved. Prophetic anointing on me right now is flowing really strong. I'm bringing you out of debt. But the covenant you're going to make is this. Lord, as I come out of debt, I am going to stay out of debt. I will trust you as my source and my only source. I hope you've written that down on your envelope and keep a record of it somewhere. As you bring me out of debt, I am going to stay out of debt and I am going to trust you as my source, my only source. I've already given you Romans 13 verse 8. It says, stay out of debt. God speaking to Moses, to Abraham, he says, the children of Israel shall be taken into a land into a foreign land and they shall be kept there as prisoners and they shall serve that land and the nation whom they serve will I judge but afterward they will come out with great substance you are coming out with great substance that's a good place to say amen that's a good place to say amen I'm coming, somebody say I'm coming out of debt and I'm coming out with great substance Praise God forevermore. Praise God forevermore. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 6. For the Lord your God blesseth you as he promised. And you shall lend unto many nations. But you shall not borrow. And you shall reign over many nations. And they shall not reign over you. It, oh. My goodness, the demon of debt, his hold is broken. Now remember, you receive things in the spirit before they manifest in the natural. You've got to, you've got to be in the spirit with me here. Because some of you are, are now processing in your mind, how, how is it going to happen? How, how can I come out of this situation? I'm so, so much in debt. I'm owing so much. The situation has been like this for the last 5 years, 10 years, 15 years. But I'm here sent as a man sent from God. I came to declare things in the spirit. I came to declare things in the spirit. I came to declare things in the spirit. I came to blow the trumpet of, of Zion. I came to blow the trumpet of Jubilee. I came to declare that there's a Jubilee. There's a financial reset that is taking place in your life. There's a financial reset. God is giving you another opportunity to start over again. There's a reset that's taking place. There's a reset that's taking place. There's a reset that's taking place. Sometime last year, I sat in a small meeting with one of my sons. And he said, Dad, I'm owing some money. And he told me I'm owing this and this and this. And I said, okay, let's agree. Let's begin to pray. You and your wife, be in agreement. Be in unity. Practice what I'm preaching. Do the word. Do the things that we teach in church. About two months ago, he sent me a message. Dad, guess what? We are debt free. It's possible. It's possible. In fact, that's not even just the only person. One particular person, not even a member of the church, Facebook friend, 
sent me an inbox I'm struggling things are really bad I'm trying to keep things going in my finances and every time I try and clear this something else comes up something goes wrong and I said no let's agree gave him a few scriptures gave him a few things and sent them to to the person agreed on Facebook not even in a service two three months later sent a message I'm free it was owing about I think about 2,000 2,000 US dollars to all kinds of people and every time he tried to clear this amount they, 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 they live in Zimbabwe every time they tried to clear this something else comes up this debt people were phoning him he couldn't answer his phone things were just bad we prayed we agreed supernaturally god moved on his behalf favor came this happened some debts were cancelled some people forgave him some some debts he got money supernaturally he was and it says guess what i'm free and this happens all the time this happens all the time this happens all the time as a man sent from god i declare that you are free from death in the name of jesus i declare that you are free from death Let's read that scripture again for the Lord your God. Now you need to read the scriptures in the whole of Deuteronomy chapter 15. It gives us amazing keys about how to activate these principles, about how to be generous. If there be any poor among you, your brethren within any of your gates in the land which the Lord gives you, you shall not harden your heart nor shut your hand to your brother. In other words, be a blessing, be generous, be a blessing. If you have a brother that owes you, forgive if you see a brother who's in debt and they are owing 500 and you're owing 500,000 take 500 rand clear your brother's debt you're sowing a seed you're activating a supernatural flow in your life and in the house and that will begin I'm telling you how it works I'm telling you how it works I'm telling you how it works but there's a whole lot of principles that are around this we're not going to go into into them right now i will teach on one of the principles in my teaching today but the next scripture did you write down deuteronomy 15 verse 6 notice it says for the lord your god uh, the lord the, for the lord your god blesseth you god is blessing you as he promised god is blessing you and the blessing of the lord it maketh rich and he adds no sorrow no sorrow no sorrow being dead being in debt brings sorrow being in debt brings sorrow being in debt brings sorrow that's why some of you are troubled some of you have got migraine headaches some of you can't sleep well because you're in debt but you're free today you're free today you're free today hallelujah and then notice he says and you shall lend to many nations and you shall not borrow for thou shall reign over the nations and they shall not reign over you why is that key why is that important because if you look at proverbs chapter 22 verse 7 it says the rich ruleth over the poor write that scripture down on there again the rich ruleth over the poor and the servant and the borrower is servant to the lender when you are in debt you become now they put a nice word they servant the actual original word is slave you become a slave to the one you owe god is bringing you out of slavery <laughs> you, you, you need to shout you need to shout I, I know I know I'm serious and I know my face is but you need to shout no more slavery 
No more slavery. You need to praise God. Before I'm done, some of you need to run. Some of you need to jump. Some of you, I don't know what you need to do, but you better do it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12. Write it down. For the Lord shall open unto you. This is how he's bringing you out of debt. (laughs) For the Lord shall open unto you his good treasure. For the Lord shall open unto you his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto you, unto your land in his season, and to bless all the work of your hand. So God is opening to you his good treasure. There's rain in your land. Your neighbor might not be having rain, but there's rain in your land. My, 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 my. It's going to get good in this place. So God will open to you his good treasure. In the, uh, and and the, the, the heavens shall give rain unto you in thy land in his season. And he shall bless the work of your hands. All the work of your hands. He will bless all the work of your hands. Not some of it. Not most of it. All the work of your hands is blessed. Your business is blessed. Your projects are blessed. Your family is blessed. Your children are blessed. Your resources are blessed. Your investments are blessed. All, 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 all. Mando bo shata yala ba sokura ba shata. Oh! Oh! My, 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 my. 